Hey everyone, this is your girl Brianna Simone and I am back with another video review. So I know the people who subscribe to my natural channel are like, okay girl, where is your natural hair videos at? Well, okay here's the thing. I can't do a style with my hair because someone stole my gel, my eco styling gel. And at the moment, I don't have a way to go to the store to go get it. So, when I get some gel and some more deep conditioner, I will be focusing on that. But as of right now, I'm just going to be knocking out these reviews. So, today I'm here with the Basketball Wives Season 5 Episode 2 review. And Basketball Wives are so, it's so boring this season. Like, I, I don't even... And, I don't even think that I'm going to be continuing to review this season if it doesn't get any better because it's like I'm not interested in watching it because it seems like the show is so contrived and maybe it's because it's not that many people this season, but overall this show is very boring. Like, I just couldn't wait to to watch The Real Housewives of Orange County um, reunion, and I didn't even watch the season of The Real Housewives of Warren County. But let's just start into the review. Into the review. So the shows open up with Evelyn going to go see the new chick, Tasha. Now, Tasha is a gorgeous woman, but I was not getting genuine, genuine. MT, is that the word? I wasn't, like, to me, she wasn't 100% genuine. Like, I don't know. I just wasn't getting, you know, this is the type of chick that I would want to go hang out with and chill with and go get cocktails and things of that nature. That just, that just wasn't what I was getting from her. So, and she was also giving me, like, a little Shawnee O'Neal vibe. Like, because you know how... Sean does come off in Tammy's words a little bit bougie. And so, well, no, not bougie. Because Jennifer was bougie. But, you know, like a little bit of, um, I'm better than you kind of vibe. But that was what I was getting with her and Evelyn was talking. Like, that's the kind of vibe that I was getting with her and Evelyn was talking. But throughout the show, like, it changed a little bit. So... The next scene is when Tammy goes to the park, and Tammy's daughters are gorgeous. Those girls are really, really pretty. And, well, Tammy's a pretty woman, too, but, you know, her kids, look, are spitting images of her. And, you know, Tammy has that pop-off mentality, but her kids are totally different. Like, they have, like, a little mellow vibe to them. Like, her daughters are very well-rounded. So, then after we go there, and then after watching the scene with Tammy's daughters, and Tammy asked, saying that she's going to teach her daughter how to drive. Listen, I love me some Tammy, but I would not want Tammy teaching me how to drive. Because, you know, you might make a mistake, and then, you know, she just go crazy. You know, I might, might pop you in the mouth because you ain't do what you're supposed to. So, no. Mm -mm. So, I did not watch the... The first episode of Basketball Wives because everyone was saying that it was all about Evelyn and this divorce. Listen, I feel for Evelyn, but I don't care. Like, I don't care about the divorce. Like, I don't know. Maybe I don't have empathy. But I just do not care about the divorce. I don't care about the divorce at all. Like, it's, it's not exciting to me. Like, I'm tired of seeing her crying all the time. Like, yes, you can be grown without crying. I mean, I can understand. Like, I felt for her when she was talking about her brother-in-law and his passing, but I guess I can understand the space that she was in because she just lost her brother-in-law and her husband at the same time. So, I, I guess I can understand. I understand, but I don't care about the divorce. I care about the brother-in-law, but I do not care about the divorce. That's just my personal opinion. I don't care. Because everyone was telling her that... Everyone, everyone, everyone was telling her that her husband was not... That Chad was not the one for her. But, you know, she was in love, and that's what she wanted. So, um... Where was I? Oh, so then we go to the scene before... 
we go to the scene where Evelyn and Tasha are working out because Tasha, you know, she works out. She has a nice body. And so Tasha, oh, my bad. <laughs> so Tasha, <laughs> so Evelyn explains to Tasha that, you know, that she did put in her book that a chef, that a chef, um, that, that the basketball player's husband, I mean, that the, that the basketball player <laughs> cheated on his wife with the personal show. And Tasha's husband supposedly cheated on cheated on Tasha's she cheated on Ta- Tasha with their show. But okay, so Tasha was just like Tasha just basically swept it under the rug, but her face was saying like, Oh my god, like why did you ask me that? And like I can like in her face in her face, her face show a different emotion from what she said. Because, you know, when you confronted with a situation that you dealt with or that you're dealing with or, you know, you tend, you, you know, this is your friend, you may just say, girl, it's all right, it's cool. I understand that you wasn't coming from a malicious place, but even though you still feel some kind of way about it, but you're just not going to let it affect your friendship. That's, uh, that's where I see Tasha coming from. And so, in the in the link below, because you know Facebook, um, it was said that um, the husband Stephen Stephen Stefan Stephen Marbury paid the shelf one million dollars to keep her mouth closed. Yeah, and I'm gonna put that link down below. And also in the underneath the bar, in the <laughs> still a brand me. Also. In the in the box in the in the down below, I'm also going to put Tammy Roman's response to the um to this episode because because everyone was making it seem like oh Tammy was going to be the pop off chick. Evelyn did it, Shawnee did it, and so Evelyn. I mean, so I can understand. You know, you have one conversation about it. But throughout the whole episode, that's just what everybody was saying. Like, oh, Tammy, it can either go all the way right or it could go all the way wrong. And even Tammy herself said, you know, well, the way Tammy was saying it, Tammy was like, which I totally understand from Tammy's point of view, like, I don't want to explain to people that this is who I am. Either you, like, either you accept me or you don't. And I totally understand that because Tammy is a special kind of person. And I'm not saying that to be mean, but I'm saying that she's a special kind of person to deal with. You can't come off to Tammy being fake. You got to be 100% yourself and 100% genuine if you're going to be cool with Tammy. And that's just how it operates. So, um, yeah. So, um, I thought it was so sweet when <laughs> Tammy, I mean, when Evelyn's sister-in-law gave her the necklace of her brother's ashes, I mean, with the ne- with her brother's-in-law ashes inside of it. I thought that was so cute. Um, Evelyn was on the plane too much. Okay, so this season we actually get to look into, we get a look into Susie's life. And this is the first time we have ever gotten to see anything about anything involving Susie's life. We also get to see Tammy in the business meeting with some of her um, doing her nail polish, and the nail polishes was kind of cute, girl. But um, back to Susie. So Susie and Evelyn went to like a part where it was like walking. I guess they was everybody was in New York. Yeah, everybody was in New York this this season, this this episode particular episode. And so, um, so Susie and them, they went walking and then we just got to find out about how Susie, basically how Susie is basically trying to get it like how everybody else is trying to get it. And I seen a lot of growth in Evelyn because Evelyn was like, even though I'm going through all this girl, whatever you need, I'm here for you. And I felt like that was like, that just shows how much Evelyn has grown up in this last, in this last year, going through everything that she was going through. Like, I really, like, I really was like, dang, girl, look at you. 
But let's get to the good. So Evelyn and um Susie had a meeting. And so not Evelyn, Tammy and Susie had a meeting. And so in this meeting, Tammy, you know, everybody was saying like, oh, Tammy was being bitter. No, I understand where Tammy was coming from. I don't feel like Tammy was being bitter. I feel like Tammy was saying like, shoot, you already told me that this girl bougie. And I personally don't vibe with bougie people. So since I don't vibe with bougie people, I'm finna come armed. I'm finna come armed, guns blazing. But I do feel like Tammy was being messy when she had when she was told Susie to do the research. And when she told Susie to ask the question of, is it true about the show? That was kind of messy, Tammy. It was very messy. And from my point of view, it's messy. So, um, but Tammy, even in Tammy's interview, I mean, all on Twitter, Tammy kept on Tammy's blog and then Tammy's interview, I mean, and on Twitter, Tammy kept saying that she didn't, she, after when they got, when her and Susie came up to the house together, when her and Susie came up together to the house, she told Susie not to ask her um, about the situation, but Susie asked. Anyway, so that was Susie's fault why Susie asked because she told Susie not to ask her. So, listen, I love Tasha now because when Susie asked Tasha that question when they was at the dinner table, Tasha was just like, well, what do you believe? I was like, that's what I always say. Like, girl, what you think? <laughs> you know, like, come on now. And then, so, when, when... <laughs> When Tammy asked the lady, did she have some Bud Light or some whatever she asked her for, I was just like, really, Tammy? And then the girl was just like, I got you. I got you. <laughs> she gave her the beer. And Tammy was just like, I think that. And then Tammy was already put, putting it together, putting one, one, one and one together. Like, okay, somebody done told her about me because she done brought me this beer. But I know that she don't drink beer because it was warm and then I guess next week we'll start to see the falling out of Tammy and Shawnee so um that was all about the review it was it was it was okay but like like comment and, su and subscribe please comment like if you're gonna view the video please just comment so like this video comment on this video and subscribe if you like the video and so underneath in the underneath the bar from as Brian B says, I will have the link to the story of talking about the the um Steven having to pay the chef one million dollars on hush money, which is not a lot of money. And Tammy Roman's blog recapping this week so she could explain in her own words what really happened. Bye.